happy Monday, friends. Um, with my good friend, Dr. George, again. And we were having a discussion the other day, and I said, you know what, we really should make a video about this, about what it takes to be able to make a fundamental decision to change, and how if you're not making a fundamental decision to become a healthier version of yourself, it's just not going to happen. So, George, what happens in the beginning of the year with New Year's resolutions and people going to the gym and whatnot? Usually, they'll go ahead and join a gym and, and pay their membership, and they'll do it by automatic pay every month. And they're usually gung-ho early on, but then their, you know, reasons start occurring that they do not make it. You know, they got to go pick up the sun, or they got to go grocery shopping, or they got to buy this from Home Depot, or they got to buy that from Weiss Markets, or whatever the case may be. And then pretty soon, there are more and more excuses, and then they're not going, and the gym is making money on them because they're <laughs> yeah. collecting the fee, but they're not using the facility. So the discussion we were actually having is all about mindset. Mm -hmm. And whether you're embarking on a weight loss program or you want to start taking nutrition, uh, you want working to start working out, out at the gym, yeah. uh, whatever you want to do, you got to have the right mindset. And without that mindset, uh, you're going to just be like that New Year's resolution where you're going to start off gung-ho, but it's going to kind of slowly fade away. Right. It's whatever's going to take over the mind. We're emotional beings, and as much as we want to have logic, until we make a fundamental decision that we want to become a healthier version of ourselves, nothing's going to change until we do that because without being intrinsically motivated, without you having a strong enough why for why you want to become a healthier version of yourself, it's not going to take priority over the newest, latest, greatest emotional thing that's calling you. You want to add to that? I do. And, and in rehab, and I teach rehab, my partner and I, Jerry Simon, we teach the Rehab Advanced Standing Program mm -hmm. and we teach it by Zoom. But one of the things we teach is a big concept by Dr. Craig Liebenson, who is a really good friend of mine He's and, awesome. and a very amazing rehab doctor. Craig talks about biopsychosocial issues, and I think that is a big stumbling block to a lot of people. And it's not just unique to rehab, but it's unique to weight loss. It's an, and, 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 and even if you don't need to do rehab, you're a healthy individual, but you want to be in better physical condition, you want to improve your golf game, you, you want to be able to be a faster runner or run further, better swimmer, whatever the case is, a lot of times biopsychosocial issues are that stumbling block and they get in the way. And yeah. one of the things you need to do is you need to overcome the biopsychosocial issues if you're going to be successful at whatever venture that you're going to undertake. And if sometimes it's difficult to overcome on your own and you need a coach such as Bob or like myself to get you to that next step so and true. then to that next level. But, you know, other times, you know, you got to have the right mindset, you know, and like for me, when I, I embarked on my weight loss program, a great motivator was pain. That is a huge motivator. And I had a lot of conversations with Gray Cook and David Seaman, and David has the Deflame Diet about weight loss and diet and supplements mm -hmm. and nutrition and, you know, but... I even had my own coach, even though I had the right mindset, but at Same least here. I had the, the, enough knowledge to go out and seek experts to help me get to my, you know, uh, end point and direction and achieve the goal that I had set for myself. And I, to this day, still continue. I weighed oh, myself yeah. this morning, weighed 196, so I continue to maintain my gains which is awesome. A lot of people want to put the how, how am I going to do this ahead of the why? 
and you're going about it all wrong because the how is irrelevant if you don't have the why, what it is you want to do and why you want to do it. That must be fundamental before you can work on the how because you will not have the intrinsic motivation to sustain the how without having the why and the what firmly in place. And that's really where getting involved with a health coach and having a proper health journey can help you reach your health goals. Back to you, my friend. Yeah, and some examples of that is you might have, let's say, a male or female that are working and, and, and they're afraid if they do a weight loss program that they're going to have side effects and symptoms. And that's a psychosocial issue that's... Mm -hmm you know, getting in the way there, and that's what the stumbling block is, and that's why you need a coach like Bob or myself to overcome that so you can have a favorable outcome. Or, or let's say, you know, you're an individual, you become deconditioned, male or female, it doesn't really matter, and you want right. to work out. Once again, you know, you feel, oh, am I going to be in pain? Am I going to need to go to a chiropractor? Am I going to go see my medical doctor? Do I go to an emergency? And once again, it's a biopsychosocial issue, and that becomes a stumbling block and it gets in the way for you achieving, you know, your goal and a favorable outcome. So this is why it's really important no matter what, no matter what you want to do, no matter what your goal is, if you really want to achieve that, it's about motivation, it's about mindset, it's about, you know, reaching out to the people that can actually help you attain that goal and, and have you uh, reach that favorable outcome. Right. You were just talking about the golf tournament yesterday. How many coaches do those golfers have? Well, you know, uh, I, I'll give a, a, a shout out to uh, Greg Rose, a friend of mine who started Titles Performance Institute because he's one of the consultants for the first 50 year old <laughs> to win a major tournament. And uh, I'll be awesome. I'm sure that uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Rose was uh, watching that tournament, and I'm sure he was rooting for him. Well, with that, George, till we get together again, and I don't know what the next topic will be, but we'll keep building upon these topics and just reach out at all if we could be of service to you, Dr. George. Always a pleasure. It was great, and, and in closing, I would like to just say a, a, a little bit more about the golf tournament, and it, that's a prime example of an illustration of all the possible uh, concepts uh, that we have just talked about uh, came into play there uh, when he, you know, he won that golf tournament. Mm -hmm. You know, when Lefty won that tournament, it, it was a combination of mindset, motivation, and he put everything into play. He had proper training. He has his golf coach besides his golf cons consultant, and he spoke to the experts, and he was able to go out there and execute yeah. and win the tournament. Yep, he was able to put fear, as fear aside. What is that? False expectations appearing real. Do I have that right? You do, and and he and and he was, you know, right there with the fear avoidance, and and he was able to just, uh, you know, maintain his gains and and play his game, and the outcome we all know is he was the winner. Awesome. Well, mindset. Anyway, mindset. Mindset. It's, it's all, all about mindset. Mindset. <laughs> so figure it out what it is you want and why you want it. And let us help you with the how. That's the easy part. Till we meet again, my friends. Have a, Have a great day. day. <laughs>